doesn't it make sense to just give it to him i think sometimes you just need a need to sit down and just really think it logically like me god is that, yeah yeah that's... <laughs> like <laughs> is it like what can go wrong like hey, hey guys. guys welcome to our channel and today um we're just gonna be talking about what's god's best really and uh, i think um asha showed me this video i mean not a video a blog post by her friend a few weeks ago and she was just talking about like different things and how to wait on God's best in different areas of her life and stuff like that and something that struck out to me in the video was I mean blog. in the blog post was she touched on having like the Bible in the Bible talks about a man who the different men who had a ta who had talents and she spe I remember specifically her saying about the man who had um, five talents and he doubled it to ten and I was like wow that's so true and it just reminded me of how like you can have something and it's just well about what you do with it how do you increase it or do you just let it sit there like the man who buried his talents on the side and it's just reminds me that God's given me things it's either for me to grow them and then make more out of them rather than just saying okay god like jeremy you know I and even say for example like now okay we're talking and that like, a skill that we've learned because we're talking to the camera is being able to edit and it just builds up that skill of being analytical in different areas of what we have to do mm -hmm. and even in like we and then though those skills we can transfer them to every different areas of life do you know what I mean and even like if I want to edit a, you know like how some people have to pay for people to edit videos mm -hmm. we got it ourselves <laughs> so yeah um and so that just made us think about what what like what's God's best for us mm -hmm. obviously like he's given us these talents and stuff like that how can we use them how can we recognize that god's the most important thing that exactly, we need yeah. and recognizing okay god here i am let me wait for what you got for me do you know yeah. what i'm saying but yeah <laughs> it's definitely about like waiting um it's about realizing what god has given you right now instead of trying to force something that mm, god hasn't given you once. okay for exactly because i think when we're in that mindset we tend to forget that we having god is enough and that and that, that in itself is something that we we can use to build on other things do you know yeah. what i mean yeah yeah and you um what example would you say that you've had to wait for god's best okay um i launched a company in the summer and it was going really well like i melanin. loved it yeah it was called melanin cosmetic <laughs> i loved it i love my partner judith shout out and but god was just like no it's not right for you and it was hard and I guess for at first I was like, oh, it's God really saying It's not me. right for you or like, you just need to, it's time, the season's up. Is that what you mean? Or is it completely not right? Uh, he was just, he just said leave. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, yeah, Time's I was up for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, I think, but at first I was kind of like, oh, I don't want to give it up because like other pe people are going to be thinking, oh, like that was short lived or, or where'd that business go or maybe it failed. And, um, but eventually like when I did give it up, like I just realized that God had something so much like, so different for me. Like instead I've been able to work on things that I've loved. Like I've had the time to work on music, um, hang out with my friends, probably like strengthen friendships. And it's been amazing. And I realized like it, God wasn't just telling me to leave just so I could just do nothing. He was telling me to leave so that um, I could do things that I wasn't seeing. Take. I think I've also <laughs> I realized that like um, this one business another business will come along if he wants it to and I stopped thinking oh this is the one and only business I did just because it's going right <laughs> and I think also like um, I also realized that this is how I, this is what I said to my business partner at the time I was like there's no point in me being in this if it's not being blessed by God because he's telling me to leave for a reason what what say happens if I stay but if I left that you would you know make the business would blow up and just mm. do really well because you got someone else in that would that would just make it work so well mm. and so it's just reason that like God knows everything and he says things for a reason and he has he has a that like, he know he just sees things 
he has a bigger view, bigger and better view than we do, and just yeah. like trusting him because of that. Yeah, yeah, and I think as well, waiting for God's best. Um, it's like for me, it, it's like okay, God, I take myself off this throne, and I know that you're in control, and I know that you're the one stirring the wheels, and I know that I don't know best at the end of the day because sometimes we can think that we know best and like oh yeah i got this i knew no 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 god knows best you know what i mean like he, he he's the author and finisher of our faith he knows the end from the beginning so doesn't it make sense to just give it to him i think sometimes you just need a need to sit down and just really think it logically like me god exactly yeah yeah that's <laughs> like <laughs> is it like what can go wrong like and uh, um i think as well understanding that the plan that he has is a good one as well i think sometimes we think that this is this is it this is good but if you never let it go and experience what god's best is for you like how would you like you just miss out if that makes sense because you'd be like oh no 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 do you know what I mean like this is so good I want this I want that but he's like no I want to take you to an even bigger level do you know what I mean a deeper level yeah. a new level but you're still trying to hang on to 2006 <laughs> like 2006 <laughs> no nobody wants to say 2006 everybody's like yeah new year new me da, 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 and excited so when God's uh, when God's like okay wait for my best how about we be excited and be like oh yeah okay like and really genuinely understand that it's god's best like mm -hmm. you know i think sometimes we underestimate god's best as oh god's just anyhow like he's thought about it he planned it out already before you were even born so he knows what he's given you he knows what you're like what he's distributing to you like he's already planned it out before you even think thought about it and you know the bible says that the thoughts towards that, that i have towards you are of good and not of evil to give you an expected end so even that good is not even the type of good that we understand it's far greater than what we could even fathom or even start to dream about so yeah that's yeah. like i was reading isaiah today and um he was talking about how the the greatest people like on earth um he he takes away their breath before they've even gotten started before they've even taken and it's just it made me see like with God how how we have eternity ahead of us and how we can truly get to greatness. Like mm. our our standard of greatness is nothing compared to God's standard of greatness. Yeah. And it was just that revelation that was like, wow, we, we're so tiny. Like you know what I mean? I yeah. feel like you need that. You need that that fear of God and just like that awe. Yeah, I think it's a new it's a deeper understanding of who he is as well. I think once you comprehend his best week, I don't, I don't think we can even comprehend what that even no. means. But we can just only have a gr like a glimpse of what it means. Mm -hmm. And I think that glimpse, that it's like, I think as well, it's our attitude towards when we're waiting. I mean, if you're just here waiting, God, oh, waiting, <laughs> yeah. it will just seem like an eternity. But I think when you just as well use your gifts and multiply them and just just doing what you're doing doing what you're doing obviously in god's will and stuff like that and being directed then he'll like you'll be like wow god like i wasn't even expecting this this is like far greater than what i could ever even think or imagine and even sometimes we're waiting for stuff and it hasn't come through yet but just being in authentic and waiting on god yeah like wow god i love you and like i was like you have to speak to yourself as well like like tell yourself like this is God's best, like, just wait, <laughs> like, it's something never you have wait. To continue to remind yourself yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, You can't just be like, oh, yeah, cool, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, oh, yeah, and showing God that we're being faithful and faith, having faith, because waiting on God's best takes faith. It's not something you, especially when it's something, like, that you want to see so badly and you're not seeing any movements, any, any direction in that way. And life is just throwing you all the storms and, <laughs> and you're just like, Jesus, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> so, yeah. I think also, like, bear in mind that this waiting season might be a test to see mm. if you're actually even ready for what God wants to give you. Like, I think for me, like, in terms of relationships and waiting in God's best in terms of that, I'm still going through that. Mm. But God has just, he's taught me that 
me being in this season, season isn't just for no reason. Like he, he's using this to test whether I am actually ready. And when I am ready, he'll send that. And so me just sitting down and waiting, um, oh, God's going to bring me a spouse when I'm just praying for it and not actually seeing it as an opportunity for me to grow in that area and be ready for that when it does come. Mm -hmm. um, I found that so important. And just continue reminding myself that this single season isn't for no reason. Yeah. And I think as well, when you do get it, you're ever so grateful because you understand where you come from mm -hmm. and like you genuinely see like wow this is really next levels like do you know what I mean yeah so yeah so just enjoy the time that I think sometimes yes. we look too far ahead that we don't enjoy the moments mm -hmm. that we're in and having friends and family and just enjoying life because right now you need to enjoy you need to I think um, back of what <laughs> back of what I was saying before like it's the whole we're all we're all so eager to have the goals and the dreams we have to ask ourselves are you even ready for it now and mm. just having that honest and open conversation with god mm. like ask him like how how can i get towards that or is get something prepared. yeah can you even handle really, it right now exactly yeah but yeah okay but he knows the best timing and god's timing is the best timing hands down and everything so yeah um. You cannot end like that. Bye guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. No, no, there was something I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah, I feel like what you guys can take away from this is asking yourself, am I ready? Mm. What can I do to be ready? Am I enjoying the season that I'm in? Because I think this life is way too short to be continue looking to the future. Yeah. When, when you have right now, you've been blessed with this moment to actually use it and be able to look back and say okay I was I was utilizing that and also um, just realize it getting to know God more and realizing how awesome his plans will be for us and that nothing that we can make up in our head will ever be better than that so I think as well remembering that you can use what you go through for to bless someone else and I think that's one of like once you understand that you're not just going through something for yourself that obviously you're the one going through it but you're going to be able to say to someone i've been through that and give them their experience and share to them and say this is what i did then maybe you can try this and see how that works for you or like yeah god showed me this and da 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 do you know what i mean like you you like once you've been through something you're far more educated to be able to school someone on it rather than just be like oh really i don't know what that feels like you become more, more relatable so and i think a lot of the things that we experience in god is to help us to be able to sharpen one another as well mm -hmm. so when you're going through stuff just just be patient and know that okay god i know i'm going through this because you're making me more like you and two i know that i can also <laughs> I can also be a light to someone else mm -hmm. and you know be a uh, shoulder to cry on or back to support someone else so yeah just don't give up guys and keep striving thanks for watching i really hope that this has impacted you and we'll see you later bye, bye.